Hi, my name is Karine Doiran, and I'm a postdoc in Serge McGraw's lab at the St. Justin Research Center and Université de Montréal in Canada. In this video, I will present the role of DNMD3A in development and in TBRS. DNA in the cells uh, is the genetic material that you inherit from your mother and your father. The genes in your DNA determine things like your hair and eye color or how tall you are. There are switches that decide whether a gene is turned on or off in cells, and these are called epigenetic modifications. Following fertilization, early embryonic cells can specialize and differentiate in over 200 different cell types in the body. Each of these cell types have the same genome, but do not have the same epigenome. It is the epigenome or the epigenetic modifications that will determine how the genome is used in each cell type. There are many different epigenetic modifications that can control the expression of genes. One of them is DNA methylation that works by adding uh, methyl groups to DNA. The specific addition of those methyl groups to DNA regulates whether a gene is expressed or not. The molecules responsible for adding the methyl groups are called DNA methyl transferases or DNMTs. After fertilization, DNA methylation is removed across the genome and the methylation patterns need to be reestablished in order to trigger the proper uh, embryonic developmental program. DNA methylation marks are reacquired in a sex, cell, and tissue-specific manner. The establishment and maintenance of proper DNA methylation patterns is a major requirement for development, as cell type and stage-specific DNA methylation profiles regulate gene expression networks. DNMT3A and DNMT3B are the ones that establish the patterns of DNA methylation, or the de novo methylation while DNMT1 is the one that will maintain those patterns through cell cycles. DNMT3A works with another DNMT that's called DNMT3L, and they form this big complex to bind DNA and add methyl groups. So we can easily imagine how any mutation in DNMT3A or DNMT3L would affect how this complex is formed and how it binds DNA to methylate uh, the DNA. And many mutations have been um, identified in DNMT3A. Mutation is a mistake or a change in a gene that can lead to genetic disorders or to illnesses. And young brains are particularly sensitive to epigenetic changes, thus to mutations in DNMT3A. But to study the impact of DNMT3A mutations on the brain, we need brain cells that we can derive from patients themselves or mouse models. Our lab looks specifically at neurons to understand how the mutations in DNMT3A um, will affect the methylation patterns on DNA and the future development and health of the brain and the individual. Thank you for listening.